the world doesn't know that the mantle of Babalola, which almost everyone is crying for, was handed over to Prophet T.B. Joshua. They don't understand what God did. The man they so much adore, the man that they admire, the man that they acknowledge and regard, they crucified in another man that they hate and detest. God is always moving mysteriously in the kingdom of men. It is only those who are quiet, only those who entertain tranquility and open their hearts to the teachings of the spirit that will be able to discover the move of God. That is why Isaiah said, Who has believed our report? To whom is the arm of God revealed? The arm of God is the power and the wisdom of God. So the arm of God is revealed to some certain people. That is why the question was asked, For whom is he revealed? And because we don't know these things, we go about destroying the prophets that we profess to love in other prophets that we detest. When John the Baptist came, he came in the spirit of Elijah. And it was not obvious to the world, but Jesus knew because he was a man who God revealed his arm to. Even John did not understand who he was actually. That is why one time they came to him, the Pharisees, and said, Who are you? Are you the Messiah? Are you Prophet Elijah? Are you that prophet? And he said, I am none of them. And they said to him, Who then are you? So we can bring reports to those who send us. And he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, preparing the way of the Lord and make his path straight. That was the scripture that was decoded for him. That was the scripture that was revealed to him. That was the knowledge that he got and he operated with that knowledge. He functioned with that measure of knowledge that was entrusted to him and that was what he testified. But unknown to him that he was more than that. One time Jesus, who discovered more about him than himself, wanted to testify and he said, this is the Elijah they talked about. This is the Elijah they prophesied about. But they asked John, are you Elijah? He said no. There are so many things we don't even know about ourselves, even though we are men of God. Even though we hear things from God concerning us, we don't know anything about ourselves. One time I had an encounter with the Lord and he said, my beloved, you don't even know yourself. I said, who am I, Lord? He said, you are my beloved. Child of God, beloved is a word you can use to describe anyone you love. But in the realm of the spirit, there is more to the world beloved. These are matters for other time. So the world crucified the Babylonia they adore in T.B. Joshua. Do you know when Elijah was about to ascend, he was taking the mantle up to God already. In his heart. Now, he was already journeying to take the mantle along. But the Bible said that Elijah followed him and started crying for that mantle. And Elijah said to him, when you see me be taken by God, then the mantle will be yours. In other words, he had taken his faith to God. In other words, it is God that will decide if the mantle will fall to Elijah or not. So what does that tell us? It was God who directed the mantle to Elisha. It wasn't Elijah that gave the mantle to Elisha. It was God. Though it was Elijah that used it first. What is my point? The prophet T.B. Joshua received the mantle of Babalola from God. It was God who gave him that mantle, not Babalola. Babalola took the mantle up and God gave it to a man that had found favor in his sight. And because that man did not announce it, because that man did not operate in the exact dimension of Babalola, the world did not understand. Do you know that John did not operate exactly as Elijah operated? Elijah was a man who was calling down fire, but John was baptizing people with water. There was a lot of violence in the ministry of Babalola, calling down on fire the spirit of judgment. But in the case of T.B. Joshua, it was the spirit of gentility, the spirit of love and charity that he operated. 
and many of you, you have the gods and nerve to attack him, to call him devils. Or not to you that the man that you are condemning is still the man that you claim to love. That is the second coming of Babylon in these guys. The man T.B. Joshua was entrusted with the mantle of judgment, but his temperament did not allow him to demonstrate judgment. Babylon was bedded in April, April 25. In Zodiac, April is fire. So anyone that is bedded in April, naturally, scientifically, they are easily aggressive. They are violent. But T.B. Joshua had this melancholy spirit, this spirit of money, this spirit of gentility. So that genetic character of his bridled the functionality of the spirit that was given to him. And that is why it was not made clear to the world that this is Babalola. But spiritual men will be able to trace the signs of Babalola in the ministry of Prophet B. Joshua. Even though he didn't operate judgment, you should understand that there was this uniqueness in his ministry. He was singled out. He was outstandingly different from every other ministers of God in his generation. The Babalola people are glorifying and adoring now was once persecuted. I am not telling you what I heard from man. I am telling you what God told me. He was persecuted massively in his time. But now he's gone. Now that he has made an exit, the world is celebrating him. And another Babalola deduplicates his replica spiritual to him came he was persecuted even in his death he was persecuted the man of god did not pray for the mantle the mantle came on its own it was god that entrusted that mantle to him because he saw his heart but many of you are praying for the mantle it will never come listen to me god does not give mantle to those who pray for the mantle he give it to those who fit the mantle if you suit the mantle he gives it to you many of you you have devalued the mantle that god gave to you because you place so much value on that man's mantle there is no unique listing there is nothing too special about the mantle of Babalola. What makes it special is the way he managed it. If you'll be able to develop what God has given you and pay the price of manifestation, you will know that God has given everyone a very special mantle. But the way you use it determines the way it will speak. For the spirit of a prophet is subjected to the prophet. So you can carry judgmental power, judgmental fire, and yet not manifest judgment depending the way you want to function.